Humans tend to muddle through things. Humans tend to put up with whatever happens to them. And the globalists know that. I've told you the story of flying up to New York, I don't know, six months ago, to be on The View and other TV programs. I was in first class, and I was sitting next to one of the big bankers. And by the time he figured out who I was, because people were shaking my hand and talking to me, he just looked over at me and he said, people will muddle through anything. You're not going to stop anything. People will put up with anything. As long as it's done incrementally. As long as it's done incrementally. And so many of those guys give up on humanity. So they say, humanity's a bunch of idiots. I'll just join with evil. That's the attitude. I'm a winner, so I'm going to join with the dark side because the public, even if you try to tell them the truth, they don't want to hear it. That's the line I've been told by every big corporate chief I've run into is that Alex, the general public, doesn't want to be helped, and so you might as well be a predator. Well, let's just say that's true, which it isn't. What you think is going to happen, what you fulfill, what you push, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you just give up on everything, there will be a sinking to the bottom. When you reach for the stars, when you reach for the beauty, when you reach for the honor, when you reach for the good... You begin to attain it, and you set the mark and the standard. There's always going to be corruption and problems, but you recognize it and deal with it and try to keep it under control. But when you get that attitude and give up and just say, that's the way it is, the evil doesn't just stop at the level that you personally have accepted. And a lot of you guys try to get into evil. You try to make yourself like it. That's, that, that's really what the New World Order is all about. It's about taking tens of millions of men over the decades and finding out who likes to kill, who likes to torture, who likes to deal narcotics. Then you deploy them to key areas. Everything is about training people. Vietnam was a laboratory for war. Korea was a laboratory. The Pentagon admits that Afghanistan and Iraq are laboratories for war making. We live in a laboratory. We live under a scientific dictatorship of cold-blooded technocrats who enjoy testing on us just like they enjoyed testing on rats when they were in college. My dad described you know, taking biology and then working at MD Anderson in college. He worked there even in high school. He talked about some of the scientists in there would get off on injecting the rats with cancer, injecting them with chemicals and watching them die. He said quite a few of them. He said others were there really trying to help people, but there was a good percentage that would sit there and get this crazy look on their faces. They were uh, injecting cancer into a rat. That's the people that run things. And if you don't understand the phenomenon of mad scientist, you don't understand anything. They have backdoored stacking traits. They tell you corn, GMO potatoes, GMO uh, maize, wheat, sugar beets, soybeans, they tell you they have one trait, or even five, six, seven, eight traits they're advertising, but in every case where they've been reverse engineered, there's been other traits added to release chemical compounds in pharmacological crops. You know, you hear about pharmacological crops, thousands of them, where they're growing antibiotics in a corn. Corn's one of the best at doing this, where they crush it down and remove and extract they don't have to create it synthetically in a big laboratory. They can now do it and are in crops all over the planet, some indoors, some outdoors, where they can extract thousands of different chemicals, biologicals from it. But all of these GMO crops are pharmacological, and they have been manipulated, and it's the perfect way to poison the population. The gut diseases are exploding it is pandemic cancer is epidemic new forms of cancer are racing through the population have had massive portions of our lives shaved off and that's why in the final equation i don't care if they imprison me torture me to death destroy my name kill me because it's so evil what we're facing there is no future if it is not met do you understand that they have had their souls stolen. All I can do is move you to open your heart to the truth. And you will arise a new creature who has sight, whose soul can see the universe.